Hey, what you do to Sabo? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I, well, I gotta ask. You gotta, I'm just it's a question, Wayne. I know I know the answer, but I gotta ask you. Of course, the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. Um, I think it's in 2025 or something and like he's that. He's doing not, it. I'm not sure. Not, I'm, not, Wayne, I'm not sure. Wayne, come on, man. Say I'm it, Wayne. Sure what shit. No, say I, it, no Wayne. I don't. They know. I, I can. I will not lie to you. I am not. Have not got a call. Hey, Jay. Like but that. I'm on. I'm camera so, folk, Jay. But we all praying. You know, we praying. We keeping our fingers crossed. I'm working hard. I'm gonna make sure this next album and everything I do is killer. So I'm gonna make it very hard for them. To, I want to just make it hard for them not to not to pick highlight the boy. This is Jackson from Word on the Street Channel. I don't think it's wise for K-Dot or Jay-Z to exclude Lil Wayne from the Super Bowl halftime show in New Orleans simply because they are bringing Kendrick Lamar to headline the show. If you still don't understand the reason why this is happening, let me take y'all back. Kendrick and Drake been having serious issues and sending shots at each other. It all ended when Kendrick dropped the Drake diss track, Not Like Us, which happens to be the most famous diss track of all time, and at this point, K-Dot and Jay-Z already knew that Lil Wayne is siding with Drake because obviously that's his boy. But is that enough reason to have not given the GOAT his flowers even in his own city? That's going to be a rocky-ass mistake though. Right now the situation is causing a lot of confusion on the internet, with people are saying that Wheezy should have been the one headlining the Super Bowl halftime show in New Orleans instead of Kendrick Lamar. I mean is already considered a disrespect to the GOAT and I believe that K-Dot and Jay-Z knew better. But the issue here is that Jay-Z is not even the key player hosting the Super Bowl in New Orleans. Check this out. Lil Wayne's producer said, confused, disappointed, angry, but most of all, inspired. We'll never again be in a position or have the GOAT in a position where we are at the mercy of someone else's decision. We will make the decisions. At this point, you should know that this situation is already getting bad enough that Wheezy and his producer are feeling disappointed and disrespected. Some people advised Lil Wayne to do a concert with Drake and Nicki Minaj the same day with Super Bowl and show them how much motion he got in his city, which will be interesting enough in my own opinion. We also had AJ on Twitter saying, listen, I'm not hating on K-Dot hosting the Super Bowl halftime show. He's definitely a big enough artist with enough hits to deserve it, but nobody should be headlining the Super Bowl halftime show in New Orleans over Lil Wayne. No fucking body. Keith fired back. Laugh my ass out, thinking it makes more sense for Wayne to perform just because of the location is crazy. In terms of marketing, Kendrick is the correct choice for right now. Easily one of the most viral people of the year, and he's dropping an album, Biox of Viewership. Anyways, if only you truly understand what Wayne means to the hip-hop culture, you wouldn't choose viewership over him and downplay his impact because of that. It means the Super Bowl halftime show is now chasing clout for views? Nah, that doesn't make any sense. This is only showing that K-Dot being in the position to host the show is choosing his own man over the GOAT. Remember when Jay-Z hosted the last Super Bowl halftime show, he worked hard to exclude 50 Cent but Eminem refused to perform if 50 Cent is not going to perform. That's a better understanding of the politics that plays out on these type of situations. No disrespect to K-Dot or Jay-Z, but give honor to whom honor is due. Wayne is one of the greatest rappers alive. Our culture doesn't recognize the living or gives flowers to them when they're still here. And that's really sad. I have seen how crazy situations secretly plays out in the industry because I have people who are insiders that gets information across to me. So whatever you guys are watching on YouTube or reading on blogs are all censored information because these key players makes the decisions and never want to get exposed for anything. At this point, Lil Wayne already knew right from time that he might not get that invitation from K-Dot because of his relationship with Drake. Jay-Z could have given K-Dot million dollars worth of game, because obviously, he will be helping him out with hosting the show. I will make a different video showing you guys what Jay said about all this situation, and it will interest you to know where the problem is coming from, so make sure you subscribe and turn on notification bell. The industry is filled of a lot of devilish politics that affects a lot of rappers. This type of politics is one of the main reasons why rappers end up selling their soul to be considered whenever these type of opportunity plays out. You will definitely get frustrated to the point you will have no other choice but to dance to their tune. Lil Wayne is bigger than Kendrick Lamar, 
Wayne got more hits and legendary status than Kendrick Lamar. Wayne is a native of New Orleans. So why the F do you want to downplay this man? For viewership or for favoritism? This will not be the first time we are experiencing this type of craziness, and it will not be the last time we are going to be seeing it play out, unless something is done to fix it and make it right. Till then, I will keep y'all updated. Let me know what you guys think, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes. Everything is allegedly.